Corned beef, a childhood favourite of mine and still much loved to this day. To get started, you'll need a nice generous sized piece of corned beef silver side. I've already rinsed this one under cold running water. Then put it straight into the eight litre capacity, non-stick in a pot. So traditionally you'd cook the corned beef in water, which you can still do if you'd like, but today I'm using ginger ale for its subtle ginger flavour as well as its slight sweetness. And this just means I don't have to use any brown sugar, which is an ingredient often found in a traditional corned beef recipe. Next, a splash of vinegar. And then some veggies, onion, celery, and carrots. A couple of peppercorns and a bay leaf. And all those wonderful aromatics are going to flavor the beef as it cooks. It's literally that easy. And then place your pot into the Philips all-in-one multi-cooker and turn it on at the power point. Place the lid on and close it. Now, every time you cook using a pressure cook setting, make sure you turn the valve to seal. And now we're going to use the pressure cook setting. So all we need to do is press the pressure cook button until beef and lamb comes up on the screen. Select the cooking time and press the plus button to increase the time to 59 minutes. Select start. Then we just allow the pressure to build and we know this is occurring as those blinking red lights will appear on the screen. And then once the pressure has built, the cooking time will begin. And then when the cooking time is complete, we need to let it stand for 15 minutes with the lid on. Now, because there's a lot of liquid in the pot, it's recommended that we don't do a quick steam release at this point in time. Instead, set it aside. Now, this is a good general rule for when you're cooking things like stocks, soups or foamy foods like pasta, lentils or beans. After 15 minutes, turn the valve on the lid to vent to allow the pressure to release. Do this intermittently for a couple of minutes. Tender and succulent corned beef cooked to perfection in just under one hour. Serve it up on a plate along with all those scrumptious veggies too. I'd absolutely love it when mum would cook us corned beef for dinner because it meant the next day for lunch, we were having leftover corned beef on our sandwiches. And I always had a little bit of tomato sauce on mine. Shh, don't tell anyone. I won't judge you if you don't judge me. So my biggest tip to you is always cook more than you need so you too can enjoy leftovers for lunch the very next day.